Today I'm going to show you another technique for finishing a headband. This technique has a little bit of a twist to it. And when I say twist, I mean an actual twist. So you can wear this twist at the front or at the back, like I'm wearing mine now. If you wear it at the back, it feels like more of a bandana headband and it's quite comfortable. I wear mine all the time. So let's get started. Let's do some twisting, some shouting, some twisting by the pool, some twisting of the headbands. The first thing we need to do is cut out our fabric. So we wanna make sure that we're cutting the fabric in the direction where it stretches the best. And that's usually with the salvage edge off to one side. And we're going to use this pattern piece that I created for a deeper headband. You can do it without the twist and you have a, just a nice tube headband that you can put your ponytail through the top of. Um, but for today, we're gonna to do the twist and our pattern piece is going to uh, be determined by our head size. So for me, I have an average uh, female head size, which is 22 and a half inches. So to get the width of my pattern piece, I multiplied 22.5 by 90% and I came up with 20 inches and a quarter. So that's the width of this pattern. The depth will be 11 inches. If you have a head though that's bigger or smaller, you'll want to measure the circumference of your head and then multiply by 90% so that you'll come up with the right width for your pattern piece. All right, let's get started. I'll cut this out. So to add a twist to a headband, we're going to take our headband and we're going to twist along the long width, the part that stretches. So here we have our edge that we're gonna sew together. This is how we would make the headband normally. We would just sew this seam together and that would be the the back seam of the headband but when we do the twist we're gonna twist the headband now I'm using this fabric because there's a right and a back side so it's easy to see what I'm doing so twist once there's the right sides both up and twist again Now we're gonna pin these together and we're gonna sew this seam, this back seam together, right sides together. And you, you can do this actually with any um, depth of headband. If you wanted to do a narrow headband with a twist, you could do that. I like this wide headband with a twist because it's almost like a bandana. I've got my handy magnetic seam guide on my uh, plate to assist me in sewing the seam nice and straight and I'm using white thread so that you can see what I'm doing normally if I was going to sell this headband I would probably use the dark gray thread my trusty snips. Okay, now that we have this back seam sewn together, I'm going to sew down either side of this edge just to flatten this seam. So I'm gonna have a top stitching on the right side that you'll see. So I'll try to be as neat as possible, but I am using the white thread, so you're gonna see all my imperfections too. So we're just gonna sew this flat because that means the, the seam is gonna be comfortable against the head. It's just gonna blend into the headband. You won't have a big bulge there. I do that for all of my headbands. I've removed my trusty magnet. And I'm gonna just keep checking underneath to make sure that I have my seam flat as I go. I find it easy to do it this way. I suppose that you could pin this as well.
Okay, I'm getting down to the end here. So far, so good. I'm going to turn around and I'm going to go back on the other side. Now it doesn't look too bad with the white thread. You, if you really wanted to uh, make a bit more of a statement, you could use a, a really brightly colored thread or something pale like a pink, which would look pretty as well, depending on the fabric that you choose. This fabric is actually a bamboo rayon and I get all of my bamboo um, blends from fabric.com. which is where this one came from. So, okay, so now you see that the back seam is done. And now we're going to sew this headband together all around this long edge. So I, what I've done is I've got the back seam facing up and I'm going to enclose the rest of the headband inside. We're gonna create a little pocket. So I'm gonna sew from pin to pin leaving this part here uh, open so that I can turn the headband right side out. Pin. Pin. All right, now we're ready to switch to the zigzag stitch on our sewing machine. And if you don't have a zigzag stitch, you can use a serger or you can use the straight stitch too. Brought my trusty magnet guide back. And I'm going to start my seam just on my side of that back seam. And I'm going to sew around to that other pin. Now, as I sew, I'm going to be pulling the, the, the body of the headband that's inside this tube towards me so that I can expose more of this raw edge seam that I'm sewing together up at the top here. But I'm being careful not to get any of this fabric that's on this side trapped up here so that I don't sew through it. I like using this bamboo fabric as well because it's a, a little bit lighter than the other uh, knit that I use. Uh, so it's uh, it's better for this these wider headbands because you can um, scrunch them up and make little um, pleats and ruffles in them if you want to create a narrower headband look when you're wearing them. And here we're coming around to our pin. I'll come up close to that seam and I'm going to back stitch. All right, now I shall trim my thread ends and I'm going to turn the sweetie right side out. So what we have here is a, sort of a tube with a headband inside. So I'm going to open up that little part that I left for pulling out the headband and I'm going to pull it out. And surprise, we have a A headband. Now with this twist, you can wear it at the back. And normally I would say the back is where that seam is. And then the front of your headband will be wider so you can wear it like a bandana. You can have half the twist at the front and half the twist at the back. So you've got sort of a gentle crossover. 
which is kind of nice too. All right, easy peasy. Now, this seam here, if you're not too bothered, you can leave it open or you can hand sew it with a needle and thread shut, or you can bring it sort of down towards one of the edges. I like to leave about a half an inch from the bottom. And you can use your sewing machine to close it. And if that was gray thread, you wouldn't see it. <laughs> but you get the drift. All right, there you have it. So now we've done the twist. I've got uh, the headband on and it fits beautifully. I might say that I'm very happy that you guys were here with me today while I made myself a new headband. Um, so I've just got the twist um, half at the front and half of the twist is at the back. So let me just adjust it and I'll show you what it looks like with the full twist at the front. Full front twist. Now back to the bandana look. And this is the way that I usually wear it. So you can get a lot of protection for your, the top of your head, actually, if you're working outside in the garden. Uh, but I like it because it keeps the hair out of my eyes when I'm sewing all of these hats and headbands that I make. So, and you can also give it a bit of texture and make it a little bit narrower just by pulling on it and creating a few wrinkles and ruffles. Anyway, have fun making this project. It's a great headband, very versatile. Uh, anybody that you make it for will love it, I promise. And comments, leave them below. And uh, please remember to subscribe to this channel so we can stay in touch. All right, bye.